Hello everyone, welcome back to another guided meditation. My name is Sage and I work for the Oregon City Public Library. So, uh, this past week has been a lot of uh, transmissions of a certain sickness that we have all been trying to avoid. And so within that, I figured it would be beneficial to kind of talk about how to get the most out of your rest when you are recovering from a sickness, how to uh, listen to your body and actually hear what it needs, opposed to what you might be reading on various articles about what your body needs. Not that those aren't valid, but really kind of tuning in and listening without coming from a place of just a lot of anxiety and nervousness, which can be easy to do when you're sick, but that comes from more of a place of just mindfulness and awareness so that you can take action and do the things you need to do to protect yourself and to maintain safety for our community. So if you have found yourself uh, feeling under the weather, whether it is the big one or whether it's something else, then this is just an opportunity for us to learn how to heal softly <laughs> and intentionally and to get the most of, out of it. I am still kind of uh, getting over a sickness, so if I am a lot, I am sniffly and things like that, that's why. <laughs> All right, so get comfy, get cozy, wrap yourself up in a blanket. Okay. Wrap myself up in a blanket. You can close your eyes. And soften your gaze. Just start with stillness. Bring awareness <clears throat> to your breath. Just noticing. Maybe the nostrils are plugged or the chest is <laughs> <clears throat> Flemmy. Just noticing all of the sounds your body makes as you breathe. All of the textures happening in your throat and your nose. It can be really easy to move out of our bodies when we're sick. And that can be good too. It can be nice to just lay down, take some cold medicine, watch a movie, and not have to think about our bodies. But before we can get there, we need to know what our bodies need. If there is kind of some blockage in your breathing, <clears throat> think about what in the past has helped, and what feels good for you. Whether it's essential oils, hot shower, whatever you need. And this is part of this mindfulness is that it may have been a couple of years since you've been sick, but we've all been sick before. We all know what helps. We know ourselves best, better than any internet article. Take note. Notice the depth of your breath. If it stays shallow, <clears throat> or if you can breathe a little deeper, let the belly soften and create space for a deeper breath. Bring your awareness to the rest of your body. 
how is your body holding on to the sickness and what is the stress response you're experiencing? Maybe it's a slight fever or muscle aches. But in general, this is your body combating, right? This is your body doing really hard, important work. Consider what you can provide for your body that will assist in this process. Rest, electrolytes, fluids, vitamins. And if rest is what you need, and rest is what most of us need, take a moment to consider how you rest. Are you lying in bed, but you're still on your phone, looking at your to-do list, paying bills, answering emails? And some things may be necessary to get things in order while you schedule people to cover you or find someone to watch the kids, whatever responsibilities you have. But maybe you can do that in a few hours. Maybe you can just schedule a little chunk of time to do that and then have your phone down for the rest of the time. notice <clears throat> if you are kind of exhausting yourself by all of these tasks even though you're still lying down looking at your phone just think about how you feel when you are looking at your phone is it that feeling of rest and if so maybe it is it's okay but what feels best And it's not always this easy, right? So we have obligations and we have this feeling of guilt for being sick. Even when it probably wasn't your fault. This isn't your fault. And everything can wait. And though you may feel guilty having to call in later for work or having to rely on other people to bring you things, whatever it may be, just know that what you are doing by taking care of yourself, by listening to your body, it's ultimately serving the rest of your community. Take a breath. Let it go. Thank you all for being here. Good luck. It'll get better. And as someone whose one-year-old baby tested positive for COVID last week, I'm here to say that this is scary, but it's not the end of everything. And I just appreciate all of you, all of those of you who are continuing to be as safe as you possibly can in this situation. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.